Hello, dear members of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Canada. I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you to all of you. To our rostered leaders who have been impressing me so much with your creativity and the ways you are providing ministry to and with our congregations and members and through specialized ministry in these challenging times of COVID-19, I want to say thank you. You've really inspired me and I've enjoyed the opportunity to worship with so many of you from coast to coast to coast. To the members of our congregations, our dear and important lay people, thank you for the ways that you continue to support your congregations and specialized ministries through participating in phone trees, through delivering um, bulletins or sermons um, to parishioners who aren't able to go with online services, um, for the ways you're able to maintain ministries in safe and appropriate ways. I want to say thank you. And thank you to all of you who are continuing to support our church financially. I know we've had to be creative about ways when we can't join together physically and pass the plate and, and offer up our offerings to God. We still need to make offerings to God and to support the work of our church. So thank you for the ways you are creatively finding ways to engage and support the work of ministry. It just goes to show you we are in this together, not just as Canadians, but as the ELCIC. And we are stronger together. I feel much more like we're connected as a, as a national church. It delights me to hear uh, the stories of people going and worshiping with each other, um, of praying for and with people from across our church. I appreciate the work that the Synod Bishops and I have been able to do together and the work that our treasurers from the Synods and the National Church have been able to do as well. We're all doing our very best to keep this beloved church going. Thank you in this Easter season for the way you continue to proclaim that Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia.